Andy making the comment here about Adrian Martinez struggles at the beginning of the season. If he does, should they finally focus on other quarterbacks? He's had more than enough time to improve and excel. You know what? I, well, first off, Andy, I don't think he's going to struggle. Um, so just keep that in mind and, and be positive about that. But if he does struggle and, and, and keeps turning the ball over, they're not going to hesitate to make a change. Um, and I, I, I've already I've already gone out there and saying that that uh, true freshman Heinrich Harburg uh, is going to win the number two spot. And I think they feel comfortable enough with him of what they've seen with him in a short amount of time that they're very comfortable about handing the reins over to him if need be. Uh, and then you got Logan Smothers, who's been in the program for a long time and, or, you know, for a few years and, and is comfortable running the system and everything. And he's a very capable backup too. So yeah, it's all, it, it, it all depends on Adrian's uh, performance as far as turning the ball over and, and making solid decisions. And then we kind of move from there. And, and you know, a lot depends on that, that win and loss record too. Um, you know, a big thing that people ask about is, um, is it is it that big of a deal to start 3-0? and Yeah, it's a big deal to start 3-0. and If you lose that opening game at Illinois, um, then I don't think anybody's backing you the rest of the year. You've made the comment a number of times in evaluating not necessarily the offensive line's play, but um, just the way the guys look coming off the bus, that this is uh, the best group um, that looks Big Ten championship, upper tier, ready. Um, you think they're going to play that way? Yeah, they got the guys that they've got the guys that they need uh, in place. At least, uh, you know, front line guys and with capable backups right now. Maybe not as as deep as you. I, I don't know if any team's ever as deep as they want to be anyway. But um, yeah, there's going to be a marked improvement on what you see on the offensive line this year, and it's kind of cool because now that I think about it, I, I've seen every single one of the starters play when they were in high school. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. And, and, uh, to go back to the, the previous question is that, yeah, we've talked about it a lot before. Absolutely. They have to change their offensive philosophy and, and run the ball a lot more, and, you know, get that balance because, um, if you're successful running that, running the ball and, and like we're talking about the offensive line, and I think they're going to be very vastly improved that they can uh, start moving the chains on the ground and you throw in all the, the, the weapons that they have on the outside and um, they have a chance to be a very special offense and, and, and kind of uh, for the first time, maybe uh, kind of show you what uh, Scott, off, Scott Frost offense was capable of when they were at, at UCF and, and at Oregon. So if you look at uh, both sides of the football, all three levels on defense and look at the various positions on offense, okay, you got 10 of 11 starters, as we've discussed many times on the defensive side. You've got a veteran quarterback. And you just added a five-star corner. Yes, yeah. added a five-star cornerback. So, you know, sometimes there's a difference between a weakness and a question mark. You could have a question mark where you get a bunch of five-stars at a position, but they don't have any experience. I would consider that a question mark. They could turn out to be phenomenal. Uh, so if you're just looking at question marks slash weaknesses, that appears to be what running back wide receiver. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I, I think those are the two obvious upgrades. Um, they've made personnel wise um, that receiver room, like we've talked about before, I've never seen anything like it. Um, you got two bona fide NFL guys sitting there and then you got a stable full of running backs with some that we don't even know if they're proven like, like a, a marquee step that we haven't even seen yet. Um, 
So those two position groups are, are in my opinion, people are going to see a lot more like NFL type body kind of guys that, that you kind of expect to see at, at your Ohio States and, and your, your, you know, Notre Dames and, and everybody you want to plug into that. So, um, we don't talk about the defense very much because they have so much returning talent and stuff. And all they're doing is adding, uh, more depth and, and, and more bodies. And with all the experience they have returning that we're not worried about the defensive side of the ball. So yeah, you're looking at those two position groups to really, you know, start performing uh, at a high level that we haven't seen in a while. 